Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, the 30th of September. This month has gone by so quickly. I think as the summer has come to an end and our clients have been back from vacation, the work has picked up quite a lot and that leads to a lot of deadlines and a lot of pressure. And I feel absolutely exhausted. And so I decided to dedicate this weekend to reading, which I mean, that's what I do every weekend, but that is besides the point. And I thought we'll start a, would start a reading vlog a little bit earlier, kind of Friday morning. You can see my cats roaming around um, because I am so looking forward to it. I'm going to obviously do my job. I have a ton of meetings today, but once I'm done with this, once it's six o'clock, we do a lot of reading. I already groomed my apartment a little bit, as you probably saw, and uh, I still have to do my face. Uh, you know to be presentable for work and then do some coffee and I'm gonna start working But before that I wanted to check in and let you know what I'm reading currently uh, I am focusing on two books only which I usually read three at a time But this time it's only two and that is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson and A Wizard of Artsy by Ursula K. Le Guin and it's also very un unusual for me to be reading two fantasies at the same time, but here we go. We'll start with a smaller one, uh, A Wizard of Earthsea. I am around 60-70% into it, and it reads a lot like a fairy tale, which is why I'm enjoying it so much, I guess. The story is very interesting. It does have this old-timey way of writing fantasy, where it's more so telling it. I guess that's why it sounds like a fairy tale. Um, than showing things, but either way, I think it's very well done and so far the story is very interesting. The main character is surprisingly deep. I did not expect that, I don't know why, but he's very multi-layered and even with that writing style you can, you can spot that, so I'm having a great time with it. And then The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, obviously a gigantic book. This is a reread for me, I think I read, read it for the first time in 2019 and I absolutely loved it. And so I'm buddy reading it with my friend Bibi, who uh, finally is ready uh, to read it as well. And I'm having the best time. I think I'm enjoying it way more than the first time, even though I loved it the first time. But now, spotting the hidden clues, it's just, I'm, I'm mind blown how great the author has managed to weave all of those multi-layered plots on so many levels with so many worlds combined into this one. And then the subtle hints that he puts are just phenomenal. So yeah, having a great time. I am about 70, 80% into it. And I'm, again, nothing to add. It's just the best part of the book is remaining. Although I did enjoy the first part as well, but the best parts are remaining. The ones where I feel like I wanna high five the universe. I don't know if you have that when something so great is happening, such a climactic, Mm, cathartic moment is happening that you feel like you're elated to uh, an incredible level so yeah uh, I'm having I'm very much looking forward to it and the idea is to by the end of this weekend to have nothing to read of those two to finish them if possible before that because I have to film my mm, monthly wrap-up for September today or tomorrow and I would like to be done with those before I roll into October, but you know, it's not it's not the end of the world if I'm not, I'm just gonna put my efforts into it. Again, six o'clock, 6 p.m. this afternoon, I'm done with work and I'm gonna go into those. For now, let's grab some coffee and let's get on with the day.
if you're wondering why I'm working from home, it's because I'm a director of an international department of a software company. So I had the good luck to be able to secure a position where I don't have to go to an office. Uh, and I'm very grateful for that pretty much every single day. Although sometimes it gets a little bit too much when you're working and resting in the same space. I don't know if you have that. You get a little, you, you can't distinguish between your relaxed time and your work time and your brain is constantly focused on working. I know that's kind of a, a first world problem issue, but uh, it is a thing that, that grates on me sometimes. Regardless, I am very grateful that I have this opportunity to do this from home. This one always likes to sleep here. This is her favorite place. <laughs> While this one sleeps wherever she drops, often looking like she's been struck by lightning, this is the most dignified sleeping position I've ever seen her in. For lunch, we have these nice little sausages with tomato, cucumber, and yes, I do eat cream cheese straight from the box. One of those people. It is 6 p.m. I am finally done with work for today and for this week, and I am so happy. We are gonna move on to playing with my cats because they just woke up like five, 10 minutes ago, and if I don't pay enough attention to them, they become rather unpleasant to be around. I would say they're in that age where they want a lot of attention, which is okay with me, uh, but we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna move on to reading and drinking tea and all kinds of nice stuff. It's about 10 p.m. now and I'm sitting here in bed reading on my Kindle. I usually try to get a Kindle version of each book that I'm reading so that I can read it in the evenings because my eyesight is not very good and I have a trouble focusing for a longer time. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors from the outside. They seem to be having a party and enjoying themselves. So if it's a little bit loud, uh, that's the reason. I, uh, yeah, I'm reading The Way of Kings. I think I'm going to focus exclusively on that one until I finish it. Not for any other reason that, but the fact that I'm enjoying myself so much. And um, I was thinking about something just now, reading a paragraph that really struck me. People tend to give Brandon Sanderson grief for not having the best, most beautiful writing style. They tend to call it simple and even basic at times. And I have always disagreed with that. Granted, he doesn't make a piece of art of every sentence, but generally speaking, he has a very lovely way of, with words. It's not a purple prose in any way, but it's it's really meaningful. He, he tends to write in a meaningful way, and I tend to find that very beautiful. And I'm going to read you a, a paragraph so that I could demonstrate what I mean exactly by that. And so, does the destination matter, or is it the path we take? I declare that no accomplishment has substance nearly as great as the road used to achieve it. We are not creatures of, creatures of destinations. It is the journey that shapes us. Our calloused feet, our backs strong from carrying the weight of our travels, our eyes wide open with the fresh delight of experiences lived. And... You know, that might not seem too profound to a lot of you, but I find it very meaningful, and especially in the context of the rest of the book. Brandon Sanderson has a way of writing beautifully in a relatable way, I would say. And, you know, anybody can, can have their own opinion. I think if you don't find it beautiful, you're right, because beauty is a subjective experience. But I just wanted to put this out here because it's it's always been something that, that's been on my mind. In other news, it's about 10 o'clock now and I think I'm going to read for maybe half an hour more because I'm starting to get really sleepy and then I'm probably going to turn off for the night. So I'll catch you tomorrow.
morning everybody it is saturday the first of october so i guess it's officially spooky season though it doesn't feel that way it's still very hot every day i don't know the autumn is very slow and coming these days i'm drinking some coffee and still wearing my teeth aligners just realized now because i sound weird um they're invisalign so maybe you can't see them and i'm not supposed to drink coffee with those but i just forgot that i was wearing them um i shall remove them in a in a bit i woke up pretty early this morning by the sound of my cats destroying my house um there is um i have an avocado seed i'll show you maybe i'll insert a picture here but I have an avocado seed in water trying to grow avocado plants i already have one but i wanted a second one and i had put it higher so they can't reach it because they like to play with the toothpicks that are in it and uh, somehow my bengal cat she's a beast she likes to climb very high and she's very good at it so she could climbed and dragged it down and it's my fault that i left it there but she spilled the water all over the printer and i'm now drying it hoping that it's not going to be that it's not going to be necessary for me to replace it. I started reading A Wizard of Earthsea this morning, but before that, let's talk about The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I am, wait, I haven't moved my bookmark since yesterday. As I already mentioned, last night I read on my Kindle in the evenings and I haven't updated my progress here. But I am very, very close to the end. I think I'm at about 87 or 89 percent. And uh, we're getting to the best part uh, of the book. I just wanted to say that in this reread, I am appreciate da appreciating Dalinar so much more. During my first read, I was way more excited about Kaladin, and then during Words of Radiance, I was way more excited about Shallan, which is the point. Shallan, Shallan, um, which is the point, I guess, of these books having them as focal points. But on this reread, I think I am empathizing the most with Dalinar, and I think I feel the most for him. I want him to be happy <laughs> that's ridiculous he's a made up person but whatever i'm very very I, I i liked him during the first read but i'm gaining a whole new level of appreciation for him and i think brandon sanderson has done a tremendous job with building his character especially now knowing what follows i am just I have no words to express. Uh, and then this morning, I felt like reading A Wizard of Earth Sea. I am very close to the end as well. I think I'm, um, I am at chapter eight, Hunting, where he's finally going willingly to face the shadow. And um, yeah, again, very, very interesting multi-layered multi -layered character. And I'm feeling so much for him. I very much like him. I can't wait to to see how this is gonna end and how the series is gonna continue i think ursula k Le Guin has done a tremendous job with um with get uh but yeah that's uh, that's it for now i'm going to go brush my teeth put on my gym clothes and i'm gonna go to the gym after that i have to go buy a vacuum cleaner like a handheld one because the one that i have is like a truck very heavy i can't drag it all the way to the places where i need it and with two cats Trust me, you need a vacuum cleaner. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. I also think I'm gonna change my water pitcher because it's been two years that I've been using it. And it's it's not glass, it's plastic. So God only knows what lives there at this point. And um, then when we're gonna come back and we're gonna continue reading. That is the grand plan for the day. gym it was very nice i always dread going to the gym during leg day but i always am very happy by the end of it that i did it and i felt very energized and very nice i also went to the store as i mentioned earlier and i purchased uh the, the little handhold vacuum that i was talking about and some cat grass and i also passed by the bookstore because obviously i can't skip that and i got 
Northanger's Abbey by Jane Austen. I haven't read this one. It has a very beautiful cover. I don't know if you can see it with this light very well. And if you've watched my book haul, you will know that I collect this, these editions of classics. And if you haven't watched it, you should. I will link it here for you uh, in this corner of the screen. I also purchased the Three Body Problem Trilogy. I believe that's what it's called. Unfortunately, I don't think I can properly pronounce the author's name, so I will put it on the screen instead of butchering it. I have heard people talk about the Three Body Problem quite a lot, and a lot of them love it, and some of them not so much and I'm looking forward to reading it for myself and figuring it out uh, how I feel about it. I also was able to purchase a bunch of these salt shakers, maybe you can call them. Um, they were on sale and I was looking forward to, do it, to purchasing those because I have so many spices and herbs which are unorganized and um, I wanted to, to do so because my cupboards are a total mess. Uh, so, we're gonna do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna listen to the end of A Wizard of, of Earthsea because turns out it's on script. I didn't know they had it, but apparently they do. So I'm gonna listen to it while I organize my spices. Afterwards, I'm gonna go take a shower. Haven't showered yet after the gym because I don't like doing it there. I prefer doing it at home. And uh, afterwards, there's more reading. I think that's the plan for the evening. Here, no north or south or east or west, only towards and away. The spices are done and the shower is done and I deem this day very productive. Uh, I also managed to finish A Wizard of Earthsea and I'm debating whether to give it four or five stars or somewhere in between. I had a great time, a great, great time with this book. I think it's such a beautiful story and so well written, especially for the time that it came from. And I can just imagine this fast and magical world. I, I really, really enjoyed it very, very much. And I think Ursula K. Le Guin has, albeit very descriptive writing style, still a very, very beautiful one. Uh, it's a short book, but very meaningful and deep, but got me emotional in a few moments, especially when he was on this small sand, I wouldn't call it island, but kind of like a sand drift in, a in the middle of the sea with the wooden shack with the two old people. And when the woman pulled out the dress with the pearls and, and all of that, it just got me so emotional. Uh, it was such a such a quiet, beautiful moment. Um, it, was, it was just lovely. I, I loved it. I'm gonna continue with the series as soon as I am able to acquire the rest of it. I think I have the second book in the series in Bulgarian, uh, but I would like to read it in English because as I mentioned, I think Ursula K. Le Guin has a lovely writing style. So that done, we're gonna continue now by making something to eat because I realized that I haven't eaten anything since the gym, which is very unusual. So I'm gonna make some food and I'm gonna sit down and continue reading The Way of Kings. I think, yeah, I haven't made much progress since what I, what I made as progress last night because I didn't read any more this morning. I hope to be able to finish it by the end of the day, but I can't promise that. Still, we have a lot of time left in the weekend, so hopefully I will be able to do that. Enough talking, let's go into reading.
It is Sunday the 2nd of October and the last day of this vlog. I am starting the day by drinking some tea and uh, also changing my sheets. Sunday is new sheets day and yes this is my Christmas tree here. I keep it here because I don't have any other storage space that it can go to. Sunday is also day for making plans for the following week so I'm gonna work on my weekly planner for my personal stuff and for my work stuff and after that i'm gonna sit and read and hopefully be able to finally finish the way of kings as i've been hoping to do for the past few days overall so far a great weekend we have a little bit more clouds today but it will probably get sunnier as the day goes i'm also planning on filming my book wrap up for september because i'm kind of late with that i usually try to do it on the last day of september but i wanted to finished reading the books that I had started already because I'd like to count them towards my September um, wrap up. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the rest of the day. Again, nothing spectacular in terms of plans. I actually am not planning on leaving this apartment at all. It's now mid-afternoon and I just uh, finished part four of The Way of Kings. I am at the last part, part five, where we kind of have the conclusion. And what I'm going to say next is going to be a little bit spoilery. So if you haven't yet read the book, I advise you to skip this part. I will put the timestamp as to when you can rejoin over here. So uh, I just wanted to say that the final part of part four, where all this sec the sequence from the assault of the tower and the bridgemen returning and then Kaladin saving Dalinar and then Dalinar coming back and confronting Sadius and giving away his shard blade for the bridgemen and then confronting Elokar. That entire sequence is my favorite part of this book. It was so perfectly written with the anxiety of, of feeling like they're gonna die, of them, the, the frustration that you feel of seeing Sadius abandoning his friend, realizing that he's actually a snake, like we've all been suspecting this whole time. And then seeing Dalinar and Kaladin are two, two of our main points of view, get, you know, getting together and intertwining their storylines and becoming a team. I just, I love that, seeing Kaladin finally realizing that there are wide eyes with honor in them. And um, and then the confrontation with Elokar, because Elokar has been such an annoying person this entire time. It was very nice to see him finally put in his place, although now that I know what happens later on, I have a lot of empathy for him. But uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a great, great part. And now we're left with the you know the final part of it and this is gonna go super fast so i have no doubt i'll be able to finish it today and i still have to have a call with my family uh we i don't i don't live in the same city as my family and my brother lives abroad uh, as well so uh, we try to catch up pretty much every week if possible during the weekend with a video call and we'll do that probably a little bit later that's that's that very very excited to to complete this one and it's gonna take all of me not to start words of radiance right after it it's gonna be very difficult but anyway a little update <laughs> It is now 6 p.m. and I was finally able to finish The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. It will come as no surprise to you that I absolutely love this one and gave it five stars again. This book is masterfully written and is just... I have no words to describe how much I love it. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. I think that upon this reread, I managed to extrapolate way more than the first time I read it. I was rather confused for the bigger part of it the first time and now i was able to appreciate so much more of it and i will probably reread it way more times than just this one 
So, uh, two books completed. My goal for this reading vlog has been achieved. Overall, a great weekend, very relaxing. Two five-star books, very, very satisfying. And so, we still have a few hours of the day, but I think I will end this vlog here. I still have to choose my next read. I am considering be three, between three different books, the first of which is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is one of the books that is on my list to finish before the end of the year. Um, I have started it before and I enjoyed it very much and because of different circumstances I had to drop it, but I would like to, to read it soon. And then the other one is Promise of Blood, the first book in the Powder Mage series by Brian McClellan. I've heard great things about it, though I don't know anything about the plot itself and I prefer to keep it that way. On the other hand, I would like to continue with Rhaeria Revelations and Rise of Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. I finished the first book, Theft of Swords, of this series earlier in September and at the time I wanted to binge read the rest of the series but I couldn't do that and I'm thinking maybe I will start now. I still haven't decided. I will figure it out a little bit later and pick my next read and continue with that. For now I need to do some administration on my computer and maybe have a snack but I think I will leave it here because I would like to post this video tonight. I hope you will enjoy it, I hope you had a nice weekend yourself, and I would be happy to hear about it in the comments of the video. Thank you for watching, I wish you all a great week, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye! Once upon a time, there was a person who wasn't subscribed to my channel, and then they did, and they lived happily ever after. This could be you.